Thank you for being one of the three people that are interested in watching these Play Arts Kai reviews. This one came from Ben Carter, so I appreciate you, man. Once again, coming in and sending me a figure that I want, but at least I get to not spend the money on. <laughs> so let's look at this Final Fantasy VII Remake Play Arts Kai action figure, Jesse. As always, we do an overview of the box, everything that's inside of it. Then we look at details, articulation, and posing. Wrap it up with a nice overall rating. Let's get into it. So starting with the front of the box, we've got that Play Arts Square Enix Products logo. Then we have Final Fantasy logo. We get the Play Arts Kai here, Jesse in English, and that's Japanese for Jesse. Huh. Now who would have thunk? <laughs> anyway, we've got ages 15 and up. We've got some warnings and all kinds of extra little goodies and bits of information that nobody really cares about, but it's there for legal reasons. We got the seal of authenticity. We've got the side of the box. We've got the other side of the box. We've got the top of the box. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. We've got the bottom of the box, which has, oops, it's all good now. Online purchases available at squareenix.com. Not a sponsor, but you can please be one. Square Enix, I'll be happy about that. Back of the box is where all the good stuff is. So we've got some great shots of the figure in action, in different poses, and in black and white. Figure not available in black and white. Now, as far as all this stuff on the back, what do you think it says? What do you think any of that says, huh? Well, you don't have to guess because I'm gonna put a translated version from Google Translate on the screen, and I'm sure it's like 75% right. Let's open this thing up. Ooh, look at that. Got an avalanche stamp right on the front of the plastic. Again, they do this nice treatment with the plastic and make every bit of the box useful. We've got a little bio about Jessie and what all her whole deal is, but then the good stuff, which is here, different face plates. Oh, I like that she's got two extra face plates. That's nice. Dang. Yuffie only came with one extra face. Anyway, let's open this plastic because glare is miserable to look at. Let's see what we got. Instructions, extra layers of plastic, too many layers of plastic, I hate that. It makes it easy to get into, but it's just a lot of plastic and that's a lot of waste. But we got Jessie, we've got all of her accessories, and we've got her dynamic stand, which is the same that came with Yuffie. And I'm a big fan because I'm using it back here on Mr. Homer Simpson. So let's get her out of the plastic and take a closer look. All right, so there we go. We got Jessie out of the plastic. We've got her gun, a couple face plates, which look like a middle-aged balding man. And all these hands and her stand looking real good. And with this brand, I have just come to know that this is all gonna look great. So let's jump into details. So starting with her gun, it's got even this little dangling set of feathers, which look fantastic. I mean, look at that, come on. Tell me that doesn't look good. If this was real, this piece would fold back and add some shoulder support, but you can't do that, which is okay. This piece doesn't move, nothing, nothing moves, it's fine. Looks like it would, but it doesn't. So details of the gun looking real nice. I love the little feathers, all the little etch work in there and the paint is fantastic. That is no surprise with this brand. Jumping into the face plate here, we've got the winking look with her earrings, the details there. We got the mouth, her tongue kind of sticking out a little bit. We've got the other face and the eyes are always nice and I'm pretty sure that they are just some kind of like sticker anyway. Looks like she's got a booger. That's just a light glare. <laughs> I love it. Details are awesome. Let's look at the hands. So we've got this pointing hand, classic Jesse, classic Japanese character, really. And then the two fists, which look nice. Uh, paint's a little thin in a couple spots, a little sloppy in a couple spots. Uh, real sloppy on this hand. Yikes. The other sets of hand, pointing again, pointing but differently, because I guess that's probably the trigger finger. And we've got her grenade in this hand. The grenade looks really nice. Really good detail on the grenade. The hands are just kind of weak, which is surprising. It doesn't even look like she has fingernails. They're just little Vienna sausages. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> 
we do. That's why we're doing this. Now let's look at Jessie. So she's looking super detailed, man. I mean, the face is fine. She looks a little bit cross-eyed in this one, right? A little bit? But as far as sculpting goes and the paintwork, looking fantastic. Love the, the work they've done on the hair. And it is on a ball joint, which is genius. We've got the armor, which looks really, really good. But this kind of chain mail or whatever underneath of it looks even better. Love it. I love all the little detail pieces in the paint for like the leather work. This is looking really, really good. I mean, again, not surprised. This brand has been killing it since forever. They've only gotten better over the years, but everything from the Final Fantasy VII remake stuff has been looking really good. I hate, ah, oh man, I hate when that happens. When they put stuff, and that's like, that's not even painted in, it's, it's literally like protruding from the pants. That is a bummer. Just put that stuff on the bottom of the feet. Anyway, as far as the rest of the details, looking fantastic. I love all the little paint around, like all the leather goods and things. You know, this belt piece looks really good. Highly detailed, as always. We got the metal bits around the legs looking really nice. The knees are uh, a little weird. The brand seems to always struggle with knees. <laughs> this is no exception. Um, I mean, you get great articulation, but at the cost of whatever that is. That's goofy. But as far as the rest of it goes, I love it. And this is, I guess, why they don't put the information on the bottom of the feet, because they uh, they like to include all the details all the way down to the texture and pattern in the boots. So awesome. Love it. The stand is pretty basic. It's that kind of blackish brown color. Obviously looks even more brown because of the desk underneath of it, but it kind of blends pretty well, like we've seen back here with Homer. And that's it. You get two different claw options to pose her in different ways without any issues. So those are the details. Let's look at articulation. I almost forgot the word. So starting at the top of the head, we can spin it all the way around. No problem. It's never really a concern with this brand. We can see underneath there the way that is set up. There's kind of a few different moving parts that are just layered on top of each other. So it allows that articulation to work incredibly well. There's like some kind of neck articulation underneath of the armor plate, which was genius. So it's hidden and you get that extra range, which is really, really nice. Anyway, looking down, amazing. Looking up, fantastic. You just kind of get that exposed neck. So you'd want to pose it like this, so you can't see it. And then you can head tilt uh, almost more than you should without breaking necks. And a little bit of this kind of like wobble that's going on underneath. So amazing, I love it. We've got the ball joint for the hair so she can be in action in a moving pose, right? So kind of dynamic hair, really cool. Excellent work there. We've got the arms which can go out to a T pose, no problem. And then we've got these armor plates, which are actually pliable. So they're they're soft and they're going up over everything. So you can move these arms however you want, which is really cool, especially, you know, sometimes there's limitations because of armor plates, but this is no problem at all. And it's like we've seen on some other figures from Play Arts where there's like a big old gap in there, but you can just pose it exactly how you want it to and not see those gaps which is awesome, I love it. So rotation all the way around, no problem with the arms. We've got a spot here at the upper part of the bicep or lower part, whatever. How do muscles work? I don't know, I just got them. We've got double jointed elbows, which are a little goofy looking. It allows for a very skinny arm to do a lot of range, which is nice. So I'm fine with it, okay? Get off my back. We've got the wrist, which does rotate uh, as far as like the little leather Part of the glove just just means it's not attached i guess classic with play arts they do this ball joint depending on which way you twist the hand you can literally get it however you want torso and waist area so we've got this incredible crunch going on here because again pliable and it's actually separated so none of the armor is limiting her movement then we got this to the side, which is awesome. And I actually had to cut back into my own video here because I missed this, but the, the lower waist has incredible articulation. It just was a little bit tight at first, but check that out. That is phenomenal. Look at that, you can do almost a 90 degree bend at the lower half. We've got the legs, which are that classic ratchet ball joint, which is my favorite. Great 
range. We've got rotation at that seam, which is good. So no limitations on the legs, it seems. Kicking all the way up and all the way back. Another pliable plastic on the back side. Double jointed knees, as we kind of looked at earlier, but it makes for a very, very goofy look. And any rotation down the leg? No. It seems like that would, but it doesn't. It's kind of like a missed opportunity, isn't it? Maybe they couldn't because of the joint that's in there for the knee. All right, so the ankle is a full ball joint as well, so you can get some really good range on it. And then we got the toe articulation, so pretty much anywhere you'd want this foot to go, it's gonna go there. Awesome, maybe those, as far as exchanging hands, it's easy, it's just a simple peg on the arm rather than in the hand, which I do like a lot. I think that's a smart way to do it. Let's get a classic Jesse pose with that boom. So we've got the gun fingers ready to go. We've got her gun, her face plate, faces, faces plate. How do those work? They just slide right off. Very, very simple. And it's actually down, not out, but you can kind of wiggle it, slide it down, and then slide it right back up into place. The headband and the hair hide to all the seams very, very well. So, excellent. Huge fan, love it, good job. I kicked the camera, doesn't matter. Let's get into posing. All right, so there we go. We've got Jessie. Let's get into rating her. So speaking with details first, speaking with, I don't know. Details are fantastic. They always are with this brand. I love it every single time. I just am infatuated with it. <laughs> I just hate the uh, the joints, the knees, and the uh, weird things that they do with that. But, the, and the elbows are a little weird. However, it's fantastic, it's gorgeous. Uh, we'll give it a five out of five on details. I love it to death. Which brings us to articulation, and articulation is amazing. I love it. Another thing to just be very excited and happy about, and that has been the experience all along the way. Articulation, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It's just about perfect, but five out of five is perfect, whatever. Let's get on to posing. Posing, again, awesome. I, it just makes me want the version of her with her bike. But hey, you know what? She, by herself, fantastic. I'm gonna give her a five out of five with posing. It's kind of unlimited. You got a dynamic stand. Just get the other characters and have some fun. And those are the scores and the overall rating. Is it worth the price? I, I think so. I mean, based on all the other ones that I've gotten, they've been fantastic. They are pricey, but they're big. They're detailed, you get great accessories. They're just awesome. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to spend that much on a figure and I totally understand that, but at least they're this big at that price and not, you know, a 112 scale. Great brand, great figures, I love them. I, it's really hard to not just buy all of them because again, they're super expensive. But if you enjoyed this one, then watch this other video on another Play Arts Kai figure. We'll see you next time.